Hello, this is David and today on the Bond Incredible we're going to be looking at doing a little bit of Fair Isle. So there's a little simple one I've done. So now I'm going to show you how to do it. So as you can see I have the carriage on the left hand side and I have here my contrast wool which I'm using this red and I've got it rolled into a ball and the ball's going to be in a jug which I'm going to set down by my foot so it's not going to be rolling around all over the show so I'm going to fasten the yarn on to the first needle I'm going to tie a slip knot not a tight one and I'm just going to hook that straight onto the first needle like that and I'm going to put a clip on the tail and I'm going to throw that down the back of the cast on hemp so we don't accidentally knit the tail we knit the free flowing yarn so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my triple transfer tool and I'm going to place it behind the next needles like that and then I'm going to take that one out I'm just going to do that across the bed So that's every fourth needle now I'm not going to do the end there I'm going to leave that so what I need to do now is just check that they're all correctly in holding position and the first one is in the forward working position now I'm going to knit across the row carefully because the carriage can be quite jerky when you've got gaps. Now I'm bringing in the contrast thread and I'm just going to hook it in and knit. I'm going to pull it tight on the first one, knit it, and then I'm just going to put my thumb under it like that and I'm going to bring it straight back out to holding position. And the next one, so we just draw it back, thumb under it. And again, see what we've done there forgotten to put them back into the hold position fool and they go back into hold and we now take the carriage across so I've got my primary knitting collar is coming straight from the ball and that's behind the carriage on the table and over we go <sighs> so you need to be mindful of the jerky carriage so we do it again thumb under it now this time I'm not going to put it into hold I'm going to put the one next to it into hold so knit the stitch your thumb under it and bring the next one the one on the right and carry on across the row there we are I was preparing this earlier and what a struggle I was having because this is quite bulky wool it's actually six ply chunky and um, pushing the carriage across was something else and I couldn't work out what was going wrong until I stopped for a moment and I looked across at my table and I spotted the number three key plate that should have been in the carriage and I've got the number two key plate in the carriage so that's you know it's really important with all your knitting to make sure you've got the correct key plate in. just double check that they're fully out in hold or they will jam the carriage and back we go You do have to keep the speed down when you're going across a row like that because you can bounce a needle out. Oh, 
close then next push them back with your thumb and now we're not going to do anything but what we are going to do is going to hook this yarn over the first needle like that and put the clip on it put that into forward working position and go back across the row so what we'll do down here with this we'll cut this tail off and we'll just gently weave it into the edge and that's it's locking the yarn in so you see that's what you'll have on the front and on the back you have these rather unimaginative floats um, I tried something else there but it didn't work so just forget that but that's what you got in the back now you can knit the floats in but you don't have to but see how they're all nice and even and that's why you need to keep your yarn even um, so now this is how you do your fair isle you can make up your own designs but do remember because I know nobody ever shows it in the videos about locking the contrast thread in and then locking it out at the end because if you just leave threads dangling they'll come undone um, get some graph paper and get your knitting and say right we'll have this here this here this here you can do it with more than one color just make sure you don't get them all tangled up and it's not like in tarsia you don't have to cross the threads over you keep them separate so give it a go and have some fun thank you for watching